Hey guys, it's Brian with Retired at 40. Welcome back to the Live Life Simple Kitchen. Today I'm gonna to do a video that, in, that I was inspired by while watching my favorite television show, Shark Tank. And they had a company on there called and if you're not familiar with slice of sauce, it's basically a slice of common condiments like ketchup, hot sauce, a few other things. And like freeze drying, it doesn't need to be refrigerated and it's something that you can just kind of take on the go and you always have a condiment when you need it. So at that point I had a kind of an aha moment like many of us freeze dryers do and I thought to myself, can it be freeze dried? And I think we can get the same results and maybe add a few other condiments that the slice of sauce does not offer. So today we're gonna freeze dry ketchup, mustard, relish, barbecue sauce, and sriracha sauce coming up. So we're gonna have five things we're gonna freeze dry today. I have a couple of tricks up my sleeve also of a, a couple different variations that we can do um, to not just have a slice. But my end goal is to kind of have something that with a hot dog or um, something that you throw on the grill, you just have an instant way to rehydrate that sauce or whatever and you're not gonna need refrigeration. It's gonna cut down on your mess and probably help out with a couple other things too. I have never freeze dried any of these condiments by themselves. I have included a couple of them uh, within a recipe that has freeze dried. But one thing that I'm really concerned about today is that if you have a really high sugar content, that I'm afraid that it's it's gonna kinda turn into that syrupy consistency that, we, that just doesn't freeze dry well. If you've been freeze drying for a while, you know what I'm talking about. I think the type and the brand of the condiment that you're gonna try and freeze dry is a uh, is probably pretty important. Um, I'll give you one example. When I chose a barbecue sauce, I went with a, uh, a sugar-free barbecue sauce because barbecue sauce typically is very, very sweet and it's very kind of has that stickiness to it with uh, maybe molasses or something like that. Something that's not gonna freeze dry well. I figured the best shot that I had at this was with a sugar-free barbecue sauce. Same thing with the ketchup. It's pretty difficult to find a ketchup that doesn't have high fructose corn syrup or something that has kind of that same sugary consistency to it. So we're gonna see if this turns out. Relish is probably gonna have the same problem because you can get a sweet relish. I know that pickles do very well. We do them kind of on our regular rotation. We really like the pickles as like a pickle chip, but relish might surprise us. I'm not sure on that one. We sprung for the non-sweet relish for that reason. The sriracha has a very high sugar content. In fact, on this kind, it is actually the second listed ingredient on here. But the texture of this is a little bit more watery, so that kind of gives me an idea for maybe Maybe some of the other condiments as well. So let's just jump right into this. Um, I'm gonna do the first tray, I think with just some relish. And I think the goal for me is to try these in different ways. The relish, there's not really any different way. I think the best way to do it is probably just in small strips. So our ultimate goal really is to have a strip for hot dogs and then a pile like this to be able to slap onto a hamburger. Ideally you want it to stick together but you also don't want it to be so so much there that it's overpowering. So I'm gonna try a thin layer and then I'm gonna try a thicker droplet so hopefully one of the two will work. And I'm using our pre-cut parchment from freezedryingsupplies.com because I think that when this is freeze dried you're gonna to wanna to basically be able to peel the backing off of it. That's how they come uh, if you buy them from Slice of Sauce. And the other thing too I think is if one of these would work you could actually cut them into sizes and stack them up on top of each other which would be kind of nice. So next I'm gonna do some sriracha. I'm gonna do this a couple different ways. I'm gonna do maybe a curly cue like that. And then I'm gonna try some, some just some thick blobs. And next I'm gonna do just a pile of barbecue sauce because barbecue sauce is something that you can't, it's really hard to overpower things uh, unless it's a super bold barbecue sauce. But I think that that amount this, it's a nice thick texture, so I think that'll be good for a burger. And then I'm gonna take 
some of this barbecue sauce and I'm gonna thin it out a little bit. So I've got this watered down about one to one ratio and then I'm gonna freeze them in this bowl and that should give us, ideally when we're done, it'll give us a perfect hamburger shaped size that we can just slap right on there. Which is also what we're gonna be doing for the ketchup. I think really the key with mustard is just not overdoing it because mustard can become pretty overpowering. So maybe we'll just do some curly cues like this and then we'll do some strips for the hot dogs. All right, and then we'll do the same with the ketchup. And this ketchup actually is really, the texture of it is really watery. So I'm gonna do one whole one like this. I'm gonna water one down a little bit and just try and make one of those pucks like we did with the barbecue sauce. And then we'll do a couple strips for the hot dogs. And then I think I'm gonna fill in these gaps right here just for something else fun that I wanna try once we're freeze dried. So I'm gonna go pop these in the freezer. All right, so we're stacked six high with our corner stackers. I added them to some other stuff that I have ready to go in the freeze dryer next. We'll give this a little time to freeze. All right, let's grab these condiments out of here and get them inside. General rule, if something freezes, it will more than likely freeze dry just fine. If it doesn't freeze, well, it's not going to. But here's our hockey puck of ketchup. There are our two hockey pucks of uh, diluted down barbecue sauce. Let's get these in the freeze dryer and get them going. All right, so I do only have two trays. I'm gonna fill this up with some other stuff. I'm actually making next week's video already. So I'll put next week's in with it. Our freeze time is not gonna be totally relevant this week, but really the goal of this week's video Video is just to see if it can be done because I have some new ideas if this works a couple things I want to try so with a little YouTube magic we'll uh, get these done and I'll see you in a second but first please take a minute to subscribe it's really easy it's really quick give me a thumbs up if you like the video if you found it helpful it really helps get this video out to freeze dryers our fellow freeze dryers and our future freeze dryers also just tap that bell it'll turn on your notifications it'll send you a notification when a new freeze drying video comes out, for me, that's every Sunday at 8 a.m. Also, make sure you check out freezedryingsupplies.com. We've really been working on product development and we're gonna have some really cool stuff coming out soon. And while you're there, you can scroll down to the bottom of the page. If you're considering purchasing a freeze dryer, uh, please use our affiliate link. It helps out our channel because it shows Harvest Right where their traffic is coming from. It helps us keep up with new products that are coming out for freeze drying, the latest, the greatest, which in turn helps out the entire freeze drying community. I'll see you in a minute. All right, it says we're done. I'm gonna put the air back into the machine. We're gonna use our moisture meter. This stuff appears to be just dry as a bone. All right, let's get a look at this stuff. Uh, this is some of the craziest stuff that I think I've ever freeze dried. So we'll start up here with our, uh, our pucks of stuff. This is our, our mustard. Uh, this would be our ketchup. And it looks like the parchment did exactly what I wanted it to do. I want it to not stick and I want it to come off in one whole piece like this. So the parchment paper works awesome for this. So all of our ketchup and all of our mustard did really well. Uh, I mean, these will work sweet on a, on a hot dog. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. Here's our relish. And the relish kind of just turned into a powder. It did not stick together, which is kind of what I wanted. But you know, that might not even, that might not be a bad thing. You might just be able to kind of sprinkle it on whatever you're putting it on. I really didn't think the barbecue sauce would work. Uh, here's our watered down barbecue sauce. Those turned out into nice little pucks. I think that's probably really the, the, best, the best scenario right there. So let's get back to my original goal, which was to kind of replicate the slice of sauce. So I'm gonna take these parchment papers out of here. And what I thought would be really cool is if you could just cut these into pieces like this. And once you figure out which, uh, which variation works the best, you just stack these on top of each other. 
really none of it is brittle at all. Uh, the Sriracha actually freeze dried and I didn't think it was going to and it did really well. Uh, the Sriracha might even be the best out of all of it. So I think there's only one thing to do still and that would be grill up some burgers and some hot dogs and put them to the test. So while we're waiting for the grill, I had another idea that I thought would be kind of cool. So I took these, I took these eight by 12 Mylar bags and I cut the bag in half like this. And then I took my sealer and I sealed it into three different compartments. I want to fill these up and I want to see if you can actually keep them in, in these individual packets. And then on the go, you just throw a little water in there, mix it up and uh, hopefully get your condiment again. I'm gonna try the hot dogs and the hamburgers a couple different ways. I think one of one of the other on each should work. Uh, let's start with the hot dogs. So I'm gonna put a wet paper towel in with these buns and just hit it with, I don't know, maybe 20 or 30 seconds on them. And what I'm really trying to get is that steam and the heat built up in that bun. And then I'm gonna take a couple of aluminum foil sheets. I'm gonna put that bun in there right after it comes off the grill. I'm gonna put the hot dog in the bun. I'm gonna put our freeze dried stuff right on top of it, close it up for a second, and hopefully we'll have a great success. All right, we've got our hot buns. I'm gonna add a hot dog to it. I'm gonna put a little mustard on one side and a little ketchup on the other. Wrap this all up. We're gonna let it hang out for a second probably until we get our burgers all done. On this other one, I'm gonna put a little sriracha and then a little of this relish. For the burgers, I'm actually gonna use the cheese for the cheeseburger to kind of hold in some of that moisture. So I'm gonna take barbecue, mustard, and the ketchup, and I'm gonna put a layer of cheese over the top of the burger. Hopefully that grease that's uh, kind of piling on top of the burger will rehydrate everything, and the cheese will hold all that in. Let's pull these burgers off. Well, it looks like the cheese didn't do what I wanted it to. Um, the sauces are getting a little bit, they're getting a little bit tender. Maybe if we throw these in foil for a second too, maybe we'll have better luck with that. Luckily I have plans for this fourth one right here. I threw this wet paper towel back in the microwave. I'm gonna drape it over these burgers and then I'm gonna wrap them up in this foil so they can kind of steam themselves a little bit. Let's go check on our hot dogs and see if we had better luck on those. Well, same kind of results. Uh, the ketchup is getting sticky uh, due to just probably the high sugar content. The mustard is softening up, as is the sriracha. The relish is just about the same. But I'm kind of thinking, I'm wondering what the slice of sauce actually does um, other than add flavor. So if that's all that it does, I don't, I don't like it this way. It almost makes it like you're chewing a fruit roll-up. If you remember what a fruit roll-up is, it's kind of like a ketchup and mustard fruit roll-up. <laughs> Not super pleasant. The relish and sriracha, however, that might be a different story. I like this a lot better. The relish does lose a little bit of its uh, vinegary taste and kind of like what you would think of as a pickle. The sriracha, um, it kind of creeps up on you. You don't really taste it. And then all of a sudden, bam, it's there. That's not as bad, but luckily we have lots of other options here. All right, let's check in on our foiled hamburgers that came off the grill. If those don't work, we have one last resort, which it's gotta work. Otherwise this whole thing could be a, a potential fail and I, I never want that. Well, it's not quite to the, to the spot where you would normally consider these condiments, like what you would think that they would look like, but they're definitely a lot closer. I really wanted that to work because I just wanted to be able to throw that onto the grill. All right, I'm gonna take a bite of this, see if it's a little less fruit roll up like. So that is, so that is really, really close to a success. Um, there's spots that still have kind of like that sticky fruit roll up texture, but really where the ketchup started to, uh, to rehydrate fully, it's, uh, it's actually right on. The mustard already, I can tell, is gonna work. Barbecue sauce. Oh yeah, it's looking good too. All right, barbecue sauce work. It just needed to sit and hydrate a little bit. The ketchup surprisingly is the worst of all of them. I think it really just boils down to all that sugar content in the ketchup. So probably watering it down will help a little bit. 
Your choice in freeze-dried ketchup will definitely make a difference because that barbecue being sugar-free, um, it would have had the same problem as the ketchup. So the last thing that I think that we need to try is actually put these back into their regular form just by adding water. See how they reconstitute. See if we can put them back into these packets so you could have uh, ketchup, barbecue sauce, all that good stuff to uh, on the go. And whichever one works, I'm gonna put on the hamburger and the hot dog and I'm gonna have it for lunch. I'm hungry. All right, here's our last ditch effort to get this to work. We're gonna start with the relish, and the relish did not really come back to its full color, but it's pretty close. Still has plenty of flavor. Um, just like pickles though, it's very salty. And let's see how the packet does. That's actually pretty good. That might be just as good as uh, me mixing it by hand. Next we're gonna do our barbecue sauce. And with all these next four sauces, make sure you powder them down as far as possible because that will help with the smoothness of the retexturing. But you can see the barbecue sauce is right on. And just remember we used a sugar-free barbecue sauce. Is it going to work? It looks like it is. All right, next up, sriracha. Sriracha did really well. I, I think sriracha was actually my favorite out of all of them. All right, here we go, out of the packet. Yes, it worked. Ketchup is next, and it also did really, really well. Surprisingly, the ketchup out of all of them, in my opinion, did the worst. Let's see if we can get it to come out of the ketchup packet. In worst case, if it doesn't work, you just go to McDonald's or somewhere and steal a bunch. Don't do that. Well, it looks like it worked out of the packet. Yeah, I didn't have high hopes for these packets, but man, this is my first attempt. I didn't even measure the water. I just kind of eyeballed it. Hopefully the mustard will do just as well. And that looks good as well. Third packet. I think I got a little bit too much water in it, but it definitely did well. Make sure you powder all these before you do it. Well, really surprised on that last part. I didn't think all of them were gonna turn out, but really all of them did really well. And the one that I thought would do the best, the ketchup actually probably did the worst, even though it worked. Now I just have to decide what to put on my lunch. In the meantime, this is Retired at 40. Remember to live life simple, and we'll catch you next week.